Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how I practice welding cope tubing. Um, first I'd like to give you a little bit of background on my welding experience. Uh, I'm a hobby welder, I don't do it as my main job. I've only been doing this for six or seven months, um, so I'm still very much in the learning phase. Um, because I'm not doing it day to day as my job, I don't get that many opportunities to practice. So in order to get more practice in, um, in my own free time, I put together these practice kits. These kits are basically made up of four lengths of about 40 millimeter diameter steel tubing with a three millimeter wall thickness. And they are laser cut at the ends um, to provide the right kind of coping so that it fits, it butts up against its neighbouring tube really nice and sn snugly. <clears throat> and what this means you can do is it means you can arrange the tubes in the square pattern very easily. No cutting or prep work required. And then this is actually ready to weld. So obviously if you're working on a real job you should uh, grind the mill scale off to give you the best possible weld quality. But I find for practicing, when you're just trying to train your muscle memory, um, it's not strictly necessary to do that. Um, so that's the approach that I take when I'm welding these kits. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the process of setting one of these kits up and um, welding it. So I'll briefly talk you through the welder settings I'm using. Basically it's straight DC current, I'm using a foot pedal and my maximum amps is 120 amps. Um, I'm using a gas lens with a 2.4 millimeter tungsten thoriated um, with a stubby end cap. That just gives me maximum clearance when I'm trying to get into some of these tight corners there. So the first thing to do is to arrange the tubes in the square pattern. Now you need to make sure that um, it's all aligned correctly. It takes a little bit of fiddling around. But it's relatively easy to set up. Okay, there we go. So that is it all in position. Now what I'm going to do is put four tacks here, here, here and here. Then flip it and tack the other side. I'm not going to do a how-to on the best practice for, for making these coke tubing joints because I'm still learning, I'm not an expert, there's plenty of other videos on YouTube which will show you how to do that, but I'll just do a time lapse showing me welding the kit together just so you can get a feel for what's involved. So when you're welding near to the edge of the tube here, you've got to be really careful you don't put too much heat into it, otherwise this whole bit will just melt away. So what I do with the foot pedal is I, I, I pulse the pedal when I'm going over these bits and it just limits the heat input to the material.
So I finished the first pass, going around um, all of the joints. Um, I'm fairly happy with results, although there's still some untidy welds. And I've also undercut at a number of locations. So what I'm going to do now is just do another pass on top of the welds I've put down, um, just to add a bit more material and tidy up the undercut and get more practice at welding. Okay, so I finished the second pass and the welds are looking a lot better now. I've managed to eliminate the undercut and the beads are just a little bit more consistent. So definitely an improvement. Um, yeah, so thanks very much for watching this guys. Um, if you're looking to improve your welding skills, I'd highly recommend um, trying little challenges like this. If you're based in the UK, I can supply you with one of these kits if you just let me know in the, the comments. Thanks for watching and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.